What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and yesterday we took a look at the Dark and Shadow Puppets. Got pretty much what their abilities done. Uh, they're interesting, the, the Four Seas effect, the Amon Ra effect from the Dark one is cool, the debuff from the Shadow is cool, but today we actually have two more puppets at our disposal. We have the Light Puppet, and we have the Fortress Puppet. So what are they going to do? Let's find out now. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one, let's jump right into it. So first off here, we are going to go with the Light Puppet. I almost thought it was Abyss at first because like the color is kind of orange to be honest, but it is light and we have a really, really weird account. So please do not judge us by this account. Just say thank you that we even have access to an account to try this out on. So this is a Blood Tide Queen Arania. Uh, yeah, little different, but let's see what we can get out of the boss information to see what they do. Now, immediately when we hit them, it doesn't look like there's any type of reflect. It doesn't look like anything is happening when we're hitting them. Let's see what happens when they hit our team here. So they hit quite a few targets. Um, I don't see any type of debuffs or icons. But again, we have to really pay attention because last time when I was recording, I missed the forces under the feet. But when I was editing it back, I noticed it in there which is interesting now are they doing anything to themselves with their active there's no debuffs going out and it, it kind of makes it hard with the Arania and stuff to see what is happening but like wait is that flower hold on is that flower effect you know i'm just gonna put her in by herself um is that flower effect regular flora? Is that what it was? Never really used the hero. Um, but yeah, we can kind of just do this with one solo hero, I guess, to see what happens. Uh, and what I'm seeing is really nothing. They're, well, hold on. Do they? They might purify. No, maybe not. That's just the buffs falling off. That's interesting. I really can't tell if they're doing anything specific at all like i said there is this one debuff i don't really know what it's doing a wing debuff i can't remember ever seeing that one before i wonder if it's a special new debuff in the code uh because yeah i mean i don't really see anything else going on with them i don't see them doing like a seal of light type effect which i would have thought being the light faction they'd put a seal on you there's nothing under feet. There is a mark going around her. So I guess that's the only thing we don't know what it is. Maybe it's a crit mark. I, it's really hard to tell here. I mean, it could be some sort of crit mark potentially like Asmodel has. Because whenever we hit, let's see if we get crit. We didn't get crit, so the mark's still there. It's just the attacks come so fast, it's hard to tell. Uh, there's some sort of mark effect, and I really don't know what it's doing, per se. So, that's the light boss. Not a ton of information off of that. And nothing else going on here besides all the Arania effects, it looks like. So, yeah, that, that icon and that mark is doing something. But what it's doing, I really don't know. Now, jumping over to another account, we do have the Fortress Puppet. Let's see what the Fortress Puppet has in store for us. Now, this one, we kind of have more of a traditional team. I'm going to try to put some heroes in that don't have a ton of spell effects, actually. Um, so, actually, what if we just put in, like, these two heroes here, and let's see what happens. Let's see if we can see some type of effect going on. So, we hit them. Doesn't initial well we gotta wait for his attack to actually finish good lord i forgot how slow his animation is uh so nothing happens there nothing happens there now the enemy gets to go i don't see a debuff i don't see a mark swirling around and i don't see any type of effect floating on or around them that isn't the normal two we're used to seeing so Let's see if their active ability does something different here. So the active is hit. 
Once again, I don't see anything right out of the gate here. There's no debuffs showing up on the bar. There's no spell effects around the heroes. There's nothing around them. They're not buffing themselves. They're not getting any spell icons. I think that's one of the biggest issues with the game nowadays is the sheer amount of spell icons there are. It's so hard to tell what's going on. And beyond that, like the buff bar just is not big enough. It just nowhere near enough big enough. So yeah, there's no marks floating around them. There's no marks floating around them. There's no buffs on the bosses. There's no debuffs on our heroes. I wonder if they just have like an insanely high chance to like not be crit or maybe they, oh no, he get, they just got crit right there. They're not blocking attacks either, which I would have thought would have been some pretty much go to for the fortress faction, but I haven't seen them block a single attack yet from either hero. So this is intriguing. Let's check out the later rounds just to see if there's any type of spell effects, but it really doesn't look like there's anything. I should probably put Star Swords and Machman in a better spot too, so you guys can see them a little bit easier. We'll do something like that. Slot one, slot six gives them a little separation here. Uh, yeah, I really don't notice anything on either hero, and I don't notice anything from the Fortress Puppets. Maybe we just have too many buffs. Like, what if we just go in and we take you out and we just go back to the Mockman? That way he's at the top. He's not going to get all these crazy number of buffs from the Natalia. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're three rounds in. They use their basic. They use their active... There's nothing going on as far as I can tell. We have the least amount of spell effects possible. We're not getting debuffed. We're not getting a mark. We're not getting any skill effects. And neither is the enemy here. So that is interesting. I guess we're going to have to kind of go into the data mine files potentially and see what their abilities actually are. Whereas the other three, we've gotten at least some information out of it. Granted, we technically don't know if the light is a crit mark. It's just an assumption because that is how Asmodel works. And uh, it is a different color, though. I don't know if we've ever seen a red mark before. I believe even Asmodel's mark was yellow. So I don't know. Yeah, I, from that whole battle there, I don't see a single thing that's actually happening in combat from either. Although they do have buffs. They do have those buffs. I did just notice that. When did they start getting those buffs? It looks like counterattack buffs. Because we saw it at the end of the battle, but it definitely wasn't in the early round. So maybe there's something like a certain number of active skills need to happen or something along those lines before it happens. Because yeah, we're, we're six rounds in. Oh, there's one buff that we finally hit. There's, there's the buff in round seven. Are they going to get that buff again? Oh, they here here it is. They got some sort of redirect. So when we hit them, they counterattack, right? No, those are just basic attacks. And they also got that shield thingy. I wonder if that's like they can't have their armor reduced or something. No, yeah, they definitely counterattack and stun. Okay. So it doesn't happen until later rounds, but that's the fortress effect as well. Interesting. So if you come across any of the other ones, I think we still need, what, Abyss and Forest? Let me know if you guys have it, and we'll jump on, and we'll take a look at those puppets as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about the Flame Shrine update, and I'll see you guys next time.